I'm Zara Larson, and today I'm going to be doing a look that's a little glam, a little natural, something I do on tour, and it looks good wherever you are, so let's get into it. I'm going to be starting with some micellar water from Bioderma. It's really gentle and nice. You can like have it in your eyes and it doesn't sting or burn. Uh, I didn't take all of my mascara off last night, so I'm just going to start fresh. I'm actually use this one as well. Let's go all in. This is from Darfine. Darfine, and it's a toner, and the toner is really good to balance your pH. That's what someone told me about my skin. It says it's with chamomile, but all I can smell is like a fake banana. Do you know what I mean? Like banana candy, which I don't mind at all. It's very nice, I think. I do love a good mask. I put on masks all the time. Every time I fly, I have a sheet mask on because it's just so easy to pop on. Your skin's refreshed. It doesn't really break out because when you do fly, your skin overcompensates so much for the dry air on the plane. So this one is from Dr. Barbara Sturm. I'm just gonna let this sit. I think I, think I put on enough. It's a lot, it's a guessing game, guys, okay? But yeah, this has been sitting now for 15 minutes, so I'm gonna wash it off. And I'll see you in a second. I use this Embrillos. I don't know how to say it, it's French. I felt like every makeup artist that I work with used this, and I like to try things that other people try. I'm a sheep, so I went and bought it, and it's really, really nice. I have very oily skin. So this kind of keeps my oils in check. It's a moisturizer, but also doubles as a primer, which is really good um, for like a base when you do your makeup. I don't know why my skin is looking good because I've not been treating myself well. I haven't been sleeping well. I have traveled a lot. I've been eating shitty food. So uh, this is just a fluke that my skin is like actually okay. Is like, I don't know what is doing, um, but please keep doing it. I used to break out a lot here. I still have some marks, um, but it's quite easy to cover. And just know that, you know, I feel like everyone literally have bad skin on and off, and it's very natural. I used to feel really bad about it though. Um, but thank you, makeup. <laughs> I start with the foundation. Some weird people start with their eyes and I don't know why they would ever do that. Uh, I start with CC Plus from IT Cosmetics. UVA and UVB, important. It hydrates and anti-ages. It's prevention, not, not cure, okay? So I do, do, do. I like to use this edge for everything. And then I just cover I start here so uh, just put one, one little layer of my foundation which is also very like full coverage uh, which I love but it doesn't feel heavy it feels really nice I have three options for uh, concealer also full coverage of course makeup forevers tarts or the NARS I'll take this one. It's new, so let's see what it does to me. Sorry, I'm just gonna go full out here because, uh, what four hours of sleep? I'm a night owl. I like to stay up all night. This is from Laura Mercier, and it's a brightening powder. I'm doing that, and then, cause my eyes crease badly, badly. So I have this little palette from Chanel and uh, I bought it at the airport when I missed my flight. It was not my fault. I missed my flight. It was like a connection or whatever and it was delayed. So um, my bag like didn't get on the flight and yada yada, which meant that I didn't have makeup for the show that I was gonna perform the same night. So I had to go buy a whole bunch of new makeup and they reimbursed me. So I was like, thanks. See you, Chanel. And I will start with that one in the ding. That's what I would do if I were a YouTuber. And I'm gonna apply it on my whole lid as you did when you were in school and had blue eyeshadow. I feel like everyone did that. 
you know, when you take the eyeshadow all the way up to your eyebrows. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take this little, actually take this little brush that I got with the thing. I'm just gonna do that on the darkest little shade. They're all quite shimmery, which I love. And then I'm just gonna do that. Yep, 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 yep. I know, I know the reason why people do their eyes before they do their face, okay? All this <laughs> falls down. <laughs> I still don't like it. Moving on. I'm gonna take this brush. Take this color right there again. And I'm just gonna start from the corner and work my way in on my globe. I'm gonna take a little bit of that one. Kinda do the same thing, but start not that far out. Okay, we move on to the liner. Dun dun dun! The liner is like a dog. A mean dog because you can't show it that you're scared if you want to be the boss of it. You gotta go in with confident and you gotta be like, listen, I'm in control, I will do this right, and you shall follow. I like to start in the corner. And then I'm gonna take this angled little uh, flat brush to make it not super sharp still do the damn thing ooh she cute okay I'm gonna do a little on the other eye one eye is great and one eye is not why is it always like this I love that one I don't like that I like it to do a bit more like that and not so much of a flick up because it kind of gives you a catty sexy look which I'm personally very into. That's right. Who's your daddy? Mascara time! I'm using the Glossier one because it looks so natural. It looks like it's my own lash. I think the Swedish beauty in general it's very minimalistic, like even when it comes to uh, like how you decorate your home or how you dress and how you do your makeup. It's very simple. If I would do my makeup in like a Swedish way, it would probably be to have as little makeup on me as possible and to make it look really fresh, young, and natural. I'm into that look for sure, but also I do like to like, as I said, go off with the liner or like have a really fun lip. It's just, it's just singing the very, very last words on the last verse. This might be the final time I use you. You serve me well. It's from Shiseido. And I think I just accidentally like bought it. <laughs> I just bought it when, uh, I, I absolutely didn't need to buy it. I was in Sephora and I was like, cool. Uh, and then I think it's superior to all of the brow things that I have tried. It's very smooth, doesn't feel waxy, like it won't stay, you know, sometimes and it's like, oh no, that looks clumpy. Um, it actually just glides on. I have always wanted to become a singer. Like from, I can't even remember from when, cause all my life I've just been like tunnel vision, one thing, I'm gonna be a singer. And uh, I mean, I'm living my dream at the moment. I started professionally, I would say, when I was 15, when I released my first single. But before that, I was on Sweden's Got Talent when I was 10, I was so young. But I actually ended up winning, which is very cool. And nothing really happened after that. I was super sad. I was like, my career's over. No one's calling me for record deals and stuff. Uh, but I was stressing. But I did end up get a record uh, contract. And um, yeah, as I said, I'm living my dream. I get to perform on really cool stages. And um, I don't see myself do anything else. If 
anything else in the future would probably be like uh would love to be in a really cool movie like euphoria oh my god i'm obsessed i'm obsessed okay so as i put that on i i, I kind of do a bit here as well let it go all the way up rihanna told me that okay so i will do as rihanna say and then i take this glossier it's like a haloscope it's called and i do a tiny bit of my cute tip bow a tiny bit on my nose just a little doot and a little doot on the other leg so i will use this ysl lipstick um the slim it's called and i just kind of put it on gently i love this color usually i have a lip pencil but I have lost it like I do with everything else in my life. This is Hoola OG. My gosh. The pigmented the pigment in this one is insane. Two weeks in Central Pay Baby. That's what I like, okay? Always wear SPF. It doesn't matter if it's a cloudy day, guys. Always wear SPF and uh, don't like lay out in the sun. That's not very smart. If you want a tan, go do spray tans. That's what I would say. I think my, you know, and when I do my makeup, this is what I look like, like a classic beauty face, you know what I'm saying? A little cheek, a little line. But I do take a lot of inspirations from people who dare to really go out there and challenge the beauty norms a bit. And uh, yeah, that have the, the confidence to not be like put in a little box. Um, so I would love to see myself try out more things, uh, maybe next video I will do crazy makeup, but this is me, this is my face. We got one more step. Yeah, baby. Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray for oil control. It gotta stay, all right? So that, that's it, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry. I think I did super okay. Ooh, she cute. She ready to perform. She ready to go out and sing. This is my everyday on tour makeup look. Hope you enjoyed it.